The reason why I chose communication sciences and disorders uh, as a major is because of my own personal life and experiences. Uh, I was raised predominantly around older people and uh, those people, a lot of them had hearing loss and suffered from strokes. And both of those disabilities really uh, had an impact on their communication abilities. And it was very saddening for me as you watch them uh, disconnect from everybody ar around them. And I began to ask, you know, what can, is there anything I could possibly do to help turn those uh, anomalies, those stumbling blocks into stepping stones for, of success for them. And that's when, about when I discovered this program here at the U of A, I was just fixing to graduate from um, the Huntsville High School. And I had been doing research through the U of A and I had just found this program and it everything clicked when I found it. And it has been a wonderful honor to be a part of this program. Uh, after graduation, I plan to continue my education in communication sciences and disorders in a master's program. I have been accepted into the U of A's master's program, and so I plan to uh, get my master's degree here over the course of the next two years and leave here as a registered speech language pathologist. As far as an, uh, an event that's very impactful for me was when I reconnected the ties between the student observers of this program and the Veterans Hospital here in Fayetteville. Uh, the hospital had not had any student observers for some time because of uh, COVID and COVID restrictions. And so when I began to re, uh, reconnect those ties, it was a very lengthy process, but we, but we got through it and uh, they put me in for the maximum amount of uh, volunteer hours and that was eight hours and it was the most life-changing thing for a, a young clinician. Um, in my experience there and with, with the people, the interaction with the people and the clientele, it really reshaped my view of our field and it broadened my perspective of who I want to work with when I become a clinician in a couple years. And I feel like any and every undergraduate student that's in this program should go through that process at the VA and become a part of that experience because I think it really will impact their views as a speech language pathologist.